And the other wild part here would be the proximity of the two systems, because when you have two tropical systems that get too close to each other, they can start to interact, and the proximity of, of two storms close together can affect the forecast track or can affect the ultimate track somewhat. Now, I've had some information that uh, people have been sharing that two systems could merge into one bigger, stronger one, and that is typically not how it works. Usually when you have two systems that get very close to each other and they interact, one will weaken the other one because there's outflow associated with the tropical system that creates upper winds and upper winds are hostile for a tropical systems. So a lot of times if you have a, a stronger, bigger one and a weaker one, the bigger one will wind up destroying the weaker one. And that's a scenario that could wind up happening as we get into early next week, if one of those tropical systems becomes dominant and has a larger circulation and outflow pattern, it can wind up killing off the other one. Uh, and then what happens in that situation is then the remnants of the whatever tropical system dies off can get pulled into the circulation of the bigger one, but that doesn't necessarily result in a, a bigger, stronger system overall. Usually when two systems get very close to each other, it, has a detrimental effect on both of them. It doesn't result in a stronger system. Yeah, that's well said. Uh, two systems don't do very well surviving, especially stronger systems. These are relatively weak and forecast to remain uh, not at the high end, but uh, you're right, two systems together. I recall back in 89, uh, I covered Hurricane Hugo that went into South Carolina. It was actually at the National Hurricane Center. And uh, that storm was massive, as you remember. It did a lot of damage in Charleston and other parts of South Carolina, coastal South Carolina. Uh, there was one following right behind it. it was called Iris, and essentially the uh, you know, outflow from Hurricane Hugo just just tore Iris apart. It just did not survive. That was an example of two hurricanes that were close to one another. But uh, that was the first time I really saw a, a very strong major. I think it was Category Four uh, Hugo just destroy iris so this is not that but it's a good example of what you're talking about how two tropical systems cannot merge and make a larger one which is always the dramatic way to look at these tropical systems but very very unlikely